Let's talk. Let's do our flea market segment right now. Okay. Let's knock it out while we're fresh and it's early. And this is going to be a little bit of a bigger segment, maybe a 10 minute segment that we're going to talk about because we're both pretty experienced in it. Richard and I have been We've flea been market doing this hunting for a long time for years to, uh, well, years and then a few years together. Right. And um, our, our experiences have been. It's been interesting over, over over the past couple of years as as eBay and and technology has increased and people have access to pricing guides and pricing availability and pricing things uh, just at a at, at such a short amount of time, like they can just pull out a phone and check something, right? So I think that in my opinion, prices and and deals are just getting so much harder to find. Oh, without a doubt, so much harder to find. Without and like without a doubt. You know, back the days of, of going up to some place and going, hey, how much is that? And they go, make me an offer. And, yeah. and you know, it's they a, don't it's do a that box no full of NES games. They go, which one would you like? I've got a, I've got a list. Yeah. Or, they, or, I spent they're about listed, 30 minutes, or they're all listed or they're all numbered. on eBay, yeah. and I, I, I figured out some, you know, they're, you know, and they're usually listed at eBay buy it now prices or something. And it's just like, More than, shoot, like this is, so it is really hard to find a deal. Um, but let's start from the beginning. Let's start with... Um, what did you want to? What did you want to hit with? With, with, with well, well, a lot of people. Like how we how we start the day and doing them. Or like, as of late, people have been asking me which ones we go to. Okay, well, and, yeah, start there. Yeah, well, the most Local. obvious one. I don't make it any kind of secret. I go to Bussies, or we go to Bussies. Yeah, Bussies Flea Market all the time. It's a fun one. It's 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 one I know <laughs> forwards and backwards, backwards inside and, forwards. and out. I know left I mean, and right. I up, up know. down down left left right right be up be down. We left, know left. this place inside and out. We know that we know the aisles. We know we know the vendors. We know the vendors. We know we know we just Which is know. good and bad. Yes, that's the problem. It's good because <laughs> I've had people um, who recognize me hold stuff for me? Oh, without really? Without even asking. Sometimes I've, I've I ask them and they hold that. stuff. Um, but um, I've had people chase me away. Sometimes they know what you're looking for. Because they know for. where I'm. They know I'm filming. Yeah. Oh, well, that yeah. I've really? had a guy. The last time I was there, this guy goes. Oh, see, that's the other thing that we that most people don't have to deal with that we have to deal with is, yeah. is filming. See, because I want to show you the good stuff the guy's got, but the guy knows what he's you know he's selling it for over overpriced, and he doesn't want to seem like. The douchebag, because now he knows about YouTube videos. And a lot of people at Bussies know me. They know I'm the guy that films. They know they because they've seen my videos and they know a lot of the vendors have come up to me and actually, you know, give me a hug. They're like, hey, you're back. And they know I'm going to film. So they put on their Sunday best, you know. So and and it's a, and it's a form of a free advertisement for them. In a sense, you know, if they gave me a good deal, not that I'm 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 putting their uh, them up there to get a good deal, but I'm not gonna you know hide how I deal. You know, that's how I deal. They'll see it. You know, I put it on camera. You know, this is how I deal. But you're trying you're pretty, to get video like, games. You hold your phone up, and it's it's pretty discreet. I mean, it's it's a huge phone. It's and, a huge phone. And you're filming, but you can hold it like this, and it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't. But there's so people there's, that already know yeah, I they do know. that. They know because they watch the videos on YouTube, and they're already recognize themselves on YouTube, and they already seen. So I try to keep away from the resellers. I don't film them. I don't. I don't. I try to keep as far away from them as I can because they watch the videos. The oh, resellers, wow, they yeah, they they the know. I, I I went into a couple. Free, I went to uh, the I don't know if you know the Alamo Marketplace. Yeah. So what are the other ones you hit? You hit um, Buzzies. You hit Alamo Market. I hit uh, Alamo. There's and, Mar yep. and, Alamo and there's Market. like Missions Market that, down there too. Way down on the south side. So there's only Missions. about three, and no, then there's, there's like there's quite a few. There's a oh. there's another oh um the one no one likes going to bro uh the big one what the big one Traders Village oh I don't oh, Traders yeah, Village yeah, yeah, yeah. and then there was another that one is the big one do you remember when we went years ago I don't Freedom was it Freedom I don't know it was it was way we gotta do a little tour of that again that'd be fun it was we we, we hit up about three or four yeah, that I one day that. I remember that so there's for plenty sure. of, of flea markets in but, San Antonio and there's there's like one or two in Austin that when I used to live up there that uh, were I don't, fantastic they I've were never amazing found and one in Austin I found like a like a honey hole and I didn't realize because it was like 2010 or 11 oh you got it right before yeah and it was like 
just just cabinet full of video games, and she was letting me just pick whatever. Oh, and it was pretty cheap. I missed those. Like things. I had I had the GameCube um, disc, like new in box, like the GameCube the disc that runs the Game Boy Advance. That's like hard to find now. Oh yeah, the. The Advanced disc and adapter, player. the game, right. yeah, the game disc Boy Advance is the most, the hardest All of that was new sealed in its like packaging, and she was like, no, 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 it was just the uh, CD, and, and it was like she was like, yeah, five bucks, whatever for the disc, Ooh, that's the box, sealed, like all that's that stuff. Twenty five bucks. Yeah, and and um, but she's like, no, there's like an attachment with it, and I gotta the find black. that, and she didn't sell it to me, so I, I couldn't get it. But I was just real naive at the at the time, getting into collecting, like oh. I didn't realize what was in front of me, and I actually didn't really know a lot about rare games, so I was I was trying to look them up as I was sitting there because. She had a shitload of NES and, and Super NES and all sorts of, of old rare games to, or old games that could have been rare that, that I just didn't know what I was looking at at the time. But you know, she didn't um, sell you that disc. No, she wanted to find the the adapter for the game. It was I, I tried I to convince her. I, tried. I would have told her I had the adapter and I needed the disc. I know it's just I don't know. Later, I bought a Rob off her and some other stuff that she had. She was she was a good source, um, and so. That's kind of what I want to put out on, on on flea marketing is when you go there, there's two directions. If you're going to be buying from someone, eventually they're going to, one, remember you. Two, mm-hmm. remember your transactions. Three, remember what you're buying, looking for, et cetera, et cetera. So get to know the people that have the stuff that you're looking for and, like, you know, start being friendly with them because they, you know, it's just – People, they're just people, and once you, they're like kind of happier to sell to you and get their stuff read to you, and they know, look, um, I'm I'm gonna definitely be able to sell this, that, and the other to this kid when he rolls through every two weeks. I'll just hold that for him and and um, a lot give of him a good don't deal. See it like that though, no more. Yeah, you're right. I mean, a lot of people are just about the profit, but it's we're still human. So there's the human element, and just take that into consideration when you're when you're doing all this. Is that the transaction the moment of like negotiation some people can be so good at it and 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 really i'm going to equate it to like charisma and like fallout like if you have high or like any of these like elder scroll games you get like high charisma or high something like that you can talk people into all sorts of crazy things right oh yeah and people with good high charisma and and they're really good at, at negotiations can just get some incredible deals just Stuff for free, That's and whatever. Thing, though, I mean, man. it was like, the way you talk to the person. It, but you have to build a really a uh, a uh, a big rapport with the with the seller, you know, because the sellers they're out to make money. Yeah, that's true. You know, they they got you know they're just there to make money. So you have to be really into their circle to get a good deal nowadays, or that, or they don't know what the hell they got. It, one of the two, you're gonna get, you know. The other good parts of the of, of the flea market are like getting hitting like the outside area, like you said, that's because where, that's, that's where, where people come is. and rent, and they want to get they basically Fast. want a garage sale for themselves for one weekend. They pack up, they borrow someone's it's cheap truck, up there too. They do something, they get a big vehicle, and they pack it up. They're only going to be there one day. They have stuff that maybe they haven't had time to price. Why? Because and this is where you get the deals. Because they they've just packed up their friend's whole garage that, that it, and you know the person's lazier is just like couldn't get to boxes that are under boxes that are right. under boxes. They get out here, they're selling it, they're selling it on the spot, they're selling it for whatever their um, uh, sh- short term memory tells them. Like oh, a video game uh, from the nineties, five bucks. You know, like oh, uh, but if they looked on eBay recently, they'll they'll know better. But at the same time. That's you know just a common thing you think of it. Oh, old video games are probably cheap as shit. They're probably old, right? Right. But now it's finally getting around to people like, oh, old stuff's getting to be expensive. It's it, rare. It's, it's become it, the it's norm. Inevitable. It's inevitable. And old equals money. Right. Like that's how people look at it now. People aren't looking at it as like, oh, that old piece of shit. No, they're not looking at it no more because not, you, know, you got shows like the Antique Roach or the Antique mm-hmm. Roach Show or. Um, once things get past about ten or about twenty years, no, probably about twenty years, they become like what is it? It's it's like twenty, thirty, and forty. It's like collectible, classic, antique, vintage. Like they all have year settings. Right. And once it starts hitting those, is people it starts triggering things, and people start realizing this isn't trash anymore. So Old equals kind of treasure. money. Um. So. Uh, I love. I also I, like. I like getting there early, but th- just like when people show up. Who are selling like the the uh, example I just gave you? They can show up at two p.m. Yeah, they can show up at noon. You they never know what those people. They don't. You don't know. 
You and don't so, know. So Your chances of finding something are early. But at the same time, I've had people come out at 1 o'clock and I've yep. scored. I'm it's like, what whoa. I'm I, it's so yep. it's just a matter of being at the right place at the right time. Like anything else, it's all about consistency. The it's, more you yep, go, the, more the better you chances you have of finding something. You That's just how it lot. works. You got to go a lot. I mean, there's no professional finder. Like, you don't know when these people are coming out. You don't know what random time they just feel like getting up and coming out and selling their Nintendo. You don't right. know that. And it's, that's the same thing with garage sales when you're cruising. Same thing. When you don't know. Around. It's just a matter of getting out there and doing the rounds. That's how you find stuff. That's how you find it. And, the, and it's like... I used to be really, really a lot more into it. I'm talking like hitting Goodwills every day on the way home. I remember. You know, it was a one that was close on the way home, and I would always hit it. I remember. And I would score once a week. The other six days, nothing. You know? I mean, and that was good. That was a good week if I scored once a week. And so uh, it, it is – it's like uh, it's like a scratch off. It, you know, you you take your chances in that moment, in that time, and, and like whatever you the results are is usually less and less as the years go by. But – there's still tips and tricks out there. Not so much. You just gotta have a good eye. You gotta have. You gotta be looking in the right places. You gotta look under stuff. I mean, but imagine searching a flea market. It's massive, right? And they're they. You're looking for. You're targeting in on video games. You're targeting in on. In my instance, some music equipment. You're targeting in on maybe video equipment. You know, you're targeting in on stuff that that you enjoy and like comics, toys. Right. And it's uh, all one stop shop. Whatever you like. But the way you look for it and how you look for it, if you breeze through and just walk through the whole thing, you'll walk out going, oh, this place has nothing. This sucks. You got to take your time. You got to walk through each person's store, maybe even stop and ask them because you don't have to ask everybody. It's take forever. But stop and ask a few people that seem like, oh, okay, I'm looking around. I'm seeing they have kids of this age or they're of this age and they're selling stuff from their past. Let me see if ask them if they have this, that, and the other. 